A nursing mother must have water, but she takes a terrible risk to get it. can see that another croc has her baby. The croc will lose its prize to the others, unless it leaves the pool. But when it does, a big baboon is waiting. the baby. But the brave rescue is too late. where hippos and crocodiles survive in mysterious harmony. A crowded pool, where predator and prey are drawn together, and where strange things happen that have rarely been seen before. This pool thirst can be dangerous, and drinking becomes a deadly game of chance. in an unrelenting drought, there is a desperate fight for life. A wild anarchy takes over, but only the fittest can survive. in Africa. It's known as the Levuvu, or Hippo River. And where land and river meet, there exists a rich concentration of animals. This year, little rain fell. The river dwindled to a narrow channel and finally stopped flowing. The pools that remain in the riverbed are life-sustaining oases. And this, which is one of the largest and deepest and has never been known to go dry, is a favorite refuge for hippos and crocodiles. For those who have to drink here each day, the challenge is to drink and survive.
With over 60 crocodiles congregated here, caution becomes the first rule. Wise in the ways of the pool, oxpeckers on their floating islands drink safely. And these unpredictable giants don't seem to mind the few extra ounces of their company. But more extraordinary is this young crocodile, the smallest in the pool, who's become a regular passenger and is possibly safer basking on the surprisingly tolerant hippos than with its own kind. baboons have another strategy. They dig pits at the pool's edge and drink the seepage water rather than risk a croc attack. In contrast, this female impala is so stressed by thirst she's beyond caution. Dazed and distracted, she finally drinks in the worst possible place. Crocs aren't the only problem here. These impala have run afoul of a white-crowned plover, whose eggs are in a depression in the sand. These birds only nest near water, and so when the river dries, the fringe of the pool becomes prime real estate. But it's also a busy and dangerous thoroughfare. Crocs come here regularly to bask, Crocodiles lumbering up the bank are a major hazard for the fragile eggs. But unlike the timid impala, the crocs ignore the birds' warning cries. Lucky this time, and she settles down again to brood. Hippos spend their nights grazing, often far from the pool, and by day they too like to lie in the warm sun. A large, wet snout, applied with surprising gentleness, seems all that's needed to clear some space on the crowded beach. There's no hurry. We're all relaxed and easy here, and the great reptiles gradually respond to gentle nudges until all are accommodated to their liking. Another close call for the plovers, as the crocodile returns to the pool. But it's all just part of the price for a good waterfront sight. <laughs> 